Here's some coffee too. Make me talk better. Mmm. That was good coffee. Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas with Star and Photography and today I have a quick Lightroom and Photoshop tip for you. So if you use Lightroom a lot, you probably use Lightroom presets and if you use Photoshop, you might also want to use your Lightroom presets in Photoshop. So to get your Lightroom presets into Photoshop's Camera Raw module, it's actually not that hard and there's a simple way to do it and in this video I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so let's dive right in. Okay, so let's start off here in Lightroom and what you need for this to work is any image, any image at all, um, ideally a RAW file, um, but it will actually work on a JPEG as well, but uh, you're better off with a RAW file because it, it'll keep more of the settings the way they should be. For example, if you're using a color profile in your preset, and that won't be applied to a JPEG file and that may have trouble just working with it. But anyway, let's dive into the develop module. So I'm going to hit D in the keyboard. Sorry, didn't mean to zoom in there. Um, so the first thing we want to do is apply the preset to this image and that can be whatever preset you want to convert So I'm going to use one from my own set of presets and this is from my coffee town set Okay, and the preset is called pour over Okay, so that's all you need to do in Lightroom for the moment um, So to get this over to Photoshop now you have to do it a special way just so that we keep everything intact and to do this just right click on it and go edit in and you want to open as smart object in Photoshop. So we click on this and what that does is it sends it over non-destructive so it will keep all the settings the same. Because Camera Raw and Lightroom you basically use the same engine uh, all the parameters will actually be the same and this kind of keeps them non-destructive. So if I hop over here to Photoshop so the image is now open in Photoshop and if we look down here at the layers panel you can see it's a smart object so all I need to do now is simply double click on this and make sure you click on the icon and not the name. So this will bring up Camera Raw. So you can see here all the parameters are set. So this is basically what we had set in Lightroom. So the next thing we need to do is just hop over here to the presets panel and go down here to the bottom and click new and then call it whatever you want to call it. And click OK. So we've now saved that as a preset and that should be more or less exactly the same as your Lightroom preset. In fact, it should be exactly the same as your Lightroom preset. The only time it might be different, as I said, is if you used it on a TIFF or a JPEG, um, if you have, uh, if your preset uses a color profile. Um, so then all you do is just click OK. So we can now use that on any other image. So if I go here and let's just open something. So let's just pick one of the recent files I had. So uh, I can now go into the camera raw filter. And if I pop over here to the presets and here's the one I just saved. And if I click OK and there you have it. So that's how you convert your Lightroom presets into Photoshop for use with camera raw. Just remember if you're using this on commercial presets you bought um, they will be copyright. So some some companies might frown upon this, but I'm sure it's fine for personal use. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how to do it. Uh, I hope you've liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.